actually a year ago on my birthday. My sister bought me a film camera. Um, she's been doing film for a really long time, and I was I told her I was like this would be something that I would want to do. Uh, I see some of the pictures she would take, and I think, oh, that's awesome, that's sick. So for my birthday, she bought me a film camera. Um, but the problem was is that my birthday's in February, and I was never able to use the camera until I got back home. So it really wasn't until May of last summer where I, I kind of took it more seriously. We started doing, like, just kind of staged, right, photography. So we'd go around Atlanta, go into the museum, going anywhere. Um, and that's really what like, kind of made me think to myself, maybe it's something I should, I should do more of. I came to state in 2019 and I didn't know what I wanted to do in terms of like, I, didn't, I knew I didn't want to do like math or science or like business. So I took this comm media major and um, with it, there were classes where we would do like media making stuff. We would do, you know, Photoshop, Illustrator, InDesign. So I learned a lot of that part from the graphics standpoint, but I knew I wanted to like create stuff that I don't know, meant more, was more to me. So I took this video production class uh, in the spring, literally of last year again. And it was a class that I was like, you know, if I really like it, it's something I can maybe do and, and, and try with, but if it's something I don't like, you know, at least I said I tried something. One of the final projects we had was a, a sports feature and I was just thinking about what I could do and I thought, you know, our women's team here, women's tennis team, was having like a really good season. I was like, maybe I should do a documentary type sports feature for them. So in my efforts to get B-roll for them, I would go to matches. I went to like, I think three matches. And then at the game, I saw this special person, Jonathan Cotton, um, and he, he gave me his card and, you know, we spoke about having the opportunity to like intern. Since then, it's kind of just, blown up for myself. Uh, this fall was my first fall and now into the spring where I was able to work, you know, almost full time. There was a shot I had um, of basketball, Traquavion Smith. It was like a fast break. It was weird because I was leaving the court. I was leaving the court and I was like, you know, you hear like, people cheering. So I turned around really quickly and I was happy with this one because it was one of the manual focus cameras. So as he's approaching, I'm actively shift and focus and getting it because it starts out of focus and then perfectly comes into focus and that was really cool for me because it was just like it kind of wasn't even supposed to happen because I was leaving the court because it was towards I think the end of the half or something. Our football team was playing UNC at UNC because most of the games I had done were at home so you don't really get that opposite reaction from the crowd and things like that and I don't know why but I just focused on family for this one play. So I just followed him the whole time and he threw, I don't know who it was, but threw a dime in the back of the end zone. I just followed him the whole time. I didn't realize it until I looked at it after how good of a shot it was. Coming back for preseason with in soccer and Maddie, our Sid, had called me and she was like, you know, hey, we've got this intro shoot happening at football. You know, if you're interested in doing it, you know, you can sign up. And as she called me, I was leaving the film shop in, in, in Georgia. And it was like a light bulb moment because two minutes later, I was like, I called her back and I said, hey, I've been shooting film this, this summer and I think I can do this pretty well. I was wondering if we could do like a, a photo shoot for our, our New Jerseys. There was just this perfect lighting coming through the, the blinds and it kind of created this like stripey effect on, on the jersey. Um, and then we went outside, we got some really cool shots of like the wolf eyes. I had one where it was a super wide shot. Someone sitting in the middle of, this, of you know, the, the, the stands and just some really cool stuff, I think. I think art can be emotion, you know, like abstract paintings can be a depiction of emotion. I think art is life because like, you know, you create art based on life, based on history, based on like I said, emotions based on things you see every day. Um, and art to me is kind of what I see and kind of what I've tried to do. Like this year, I took the camera with me everywhere we went on the road. And that was art to me because I was able to get shots of things that, like I said, you don't really see every day. So. For me, that is what art is. It's whatever you kind of want to make it. Um, but ultimately, it's, it's your life. I'm now 
in grad school, so I'm a grad student, and I'll look at, you know, the freshmen or the guys who have been here, and I'm just like, I don't seem very different from them, but I've realized, or something I've had to realize really, is that, like, there's a lot of expectations put on me in terms of, you know, my place on the field, uh, and then even off of it. Um, you know, I'm our SAC leader at, on, on our soccer team. Uh, in 2021, I joined Pack United, which has been really cool for me. Um, and I've never looked at it in terms of leadership just because it was just kind of me being myself. And with Pack United, I just wanted to be involved with something. We've done, I mean, we've done a lot of things for Pack United with the Boys and Girls Club. Uh, we've packaged 30,000 meals last year for Rise Against Hunger um, and just a plethora of things. We've donated $11,000 to, to organizations around Raleigh and we're looking to do a lot more. Um, but in all of those things, it's just allowed me to connect with a lot more people here um, and enjoy the, the NC State experience.